so now let's finish uh, all the other schema that we need uh, for this project so the most complex one is this one the blog post which we already finished uh, we have the authors here as you can see that right now uh, in the others we have our uh, profile image slug and name and what we need also is we need the so for author we also need our bio right so for the bio we will use our body text here so let's also create another field after the profile image the title for this one will be the bio with a capital b and the name will be the small b bio and here our type for this one will be our custom type which is the body text that's it so once we have i should see my body text awesome as you can see so after that uh, we need to create another document which will be the categories so let's create our category so inside the document category dot js and here in our category dot js first of all export default and here let's say that the name will be the category with a capital uh, with a small c and the title will be the category and after that we have that type so this will be type of document so the document is this one uh, all the content that we will see this will be an, a specific document here so we need to make sure that whenever you want to create a content type here it should be a type document and also the icon will be the md category and after that the fields so fields will be an array of first of all inside the fields we will have the name will be the title uh, small t title and the title will be the capital T title and also the type will be the string and we want the slug as well so name will be slug and the title will be slug as well so capital s slug and here the type will be slug and options so source will be title and also the max length 96 so after this one let's say we want to have a cover image so let's say that the name would be the cover image and uh, title will be the cover image and the type so this is our custom type which is the custom image and finally name for this field uh, the name would be the description because we want to have the description for our specific category so title will be the capital D description and the type so this will be our custom type body text awesome so these all fields for our category and after that we need to add our preview so for the preview uh, we need to select let's say the title will be the title and also the image will be the cover image or yeah cover image and uh, slug will be the slug field that we have and for the prepare so inside the prepare function we need to destructure all the selected field so title image and the slug and here we need to return an object here we need to specify the title 
so we can use directly the title and also media image and also the subtitle will be the slug dot current and that's it for our category so now we have all the fields and also the preview now we need to actually list this in our schema so in our schema we need to add this document so import uh, categories import category from the category and also uh, import custom schema instead of that let's say that import custom document that will make more sense because these all are the documents and these all are the custom objects and both are the actual schema and let's also make a comment here so let's say that this will be the documents and uh, this will be the objects and inside the document let's say that uh, we want the category that's it so now we should see our new document in our sensei studio so once it will reveal the whole studio we should see our new document so that's it we can see our category and in our category we can see the icon that we specified and if i try to create a new document here as you can see that invalid preview config that's that's a problem so i'll check it let's say that uh, web development and generate this slug and select an image let's say that this one awesome 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 image and the title which is fine but subtitle is not work okay uh, it is not working because this t will be the small t not the capital t so subtitle will be the all the work case so once we do that we should see our uh, slug as a subtitle in the preview awesome so now we are done with the categories as well so after that uh, we need to actually go to our blog and here in our blog we need to actually add a author and also we need to add or connect with the categories so we need to add the relation between uh, blog author and the blog and categories so yeah let's do that so for our categories so come here in after the publish that let's add it here we need to create a new field so in our this new field we need to actually add this relation so let's create this field first of all so title will be the categories so remember this will be categories because we can actually select multiple category for a single blog post so that's why we need to make sure that it is um, categories and also the name we can use categories and here the type will be the array because as i said it will be multiple we can select multiple um, category for a single blog post and whenever you have a type array you need to specify the off so it will be array of what type we need to specify what kind of type it is it will be array of reference okay reference not like that so reference okay so it will be type of reference and whenever you have a type of reference you need to specify to what so you can say to uh, you can use type and here you need to write the reference type so we want a reference with the category so if i go to my category uh, document here the name is the category and you need to specify the same name here so category and that's it so if i save that now we should see a 
relation between a category and blog post and if i come here where it is okay we need to go to our blog post and let's open this one here as you can see that we can see categories and it is if i try to open or add a new category i can see if there is any kind of existing category i can see which is the web development and i can add that and also i can add multiple as you can see that if you have multiple categories you can select multiple categories from here so that's really really good thing now you have a relation between categories and the blog post so we need to do the same thing but a different way for our author because for the author we do not want to uh, add multiple author for a single blog post every single blog post will have only a single author so for that come here and let's say that uh, title will be the author and the name will be the name I mean will be the author with a small a and type it will be also reference and here so whenever you have type reference you need to actually make sure that it is two so type two our author i believe the name of this type is author as well so it should work so now if i save and it is yeah as you can see that i can see my author and the difference as you can see you can have multiple categories but you do not uh, you cannot have multiple authors you can only have one author. and if i search for any authors i think there was one and here it is as you can see okay i have my author selected here so that's it so now our blog post is completely done and after that in the next video we will actually work on featured categories and featured blog posts